Most of us heard of fire caused by short circuit or overloading in neighborhood. How does it happen and can we prevent it? First, overloading. Circuit is the path electricity used to travel. So, it is actually made of wire and Jules law tells us that electricity flow generates heat. So, obviously, every wire or circuit has electric current tolerance limit because if heat keeps increasing, wire or the circuit is going to get burned. When current flowing through the wire or circuit exceeds that tolerance limit, it is called overloading. 3 or 4 plug point doesn't mean you have to plug in 3 or 4 devices at once. Say you plugged in 3 devices and they are running. Total current is the sum of current through 3 different devices. Say I1, I2, I3. This whole current is carried through this circuit. If we keep plugging more devices in parallel, the sum of current will increase and eventually overloading. Now short circuit. It happens when two bare conductor like two bare wires come in contact with each other and electricity flows through lower resistance path. Like here, two wires came in contact with each other and electricity is flowing through an unintended path bypassing the real device or load. Here, resistance is too low, mean current is too high. Too high current means loss of heat, which may cause fire. In case of overloading, fuse is sure to trip or burn to stop the current because its tolerance limit is lower than the other part of the circuit. That's why current rarely reaches the tolerance limit of the circuit because few strip or fuse were get burned before that. But in case of short circuit, heat is generated very quickly. So it may cause a big enough spark to cause an accident in a matter of moment. So if you find any damaged wire or if you see coating of wire is wearing off, replace it immediately.